He was starting the Mishnah Samach Dalit. Now, a woman whose husband dies childless, she falls to Yibum. So let's say the man was an older man, and he wants to marry this woman. So when he marries, he says to her, We'll see. Only if he has brothers. Of course, who, who she falls into. That's understood. Nemon. Person marries a woman, we don't know he even has another family. Right? Marries this woman, we know he never had children from her. And before he dies, he says, Yeshli Bonim. Therefore, he doesn't have to give her a get to free her, and he evidently has brothers. Yeshli Bonim, Nemon. Yeshli Achim, Edo Nemon. What about, he says, Yeshli Yachim? We never knew he had brothers. And all of a sudden, before he dies, he says, Yeshli Yachim, I have brothers. Ain't on them, he's not believed. We're just going to discuss this in a moment. We'll see. It's the Bryser. Discuss the Bryser. The Mishnah says, when he marries, we don't know whether he has sons, we don't know if he has brothers. If he says, Yeshli Bonim, he has sons, he's believed. So that means she's not going to fall to Yibum, and she's going to be permitted to marry. Right? We'd have to worry, maybe they're, they're brothers. What? No, brother means saying children. Okay? Yesh Yachim, we never knew he had brothers, and he has no children. What? No, 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 that's no story, but no slough hut. Right? Because they, that's why they claimed the Yerusha. They, they made it, they, the Gemara says in Basra, they were Noshim Chachomos, Chachmonios. Why were they wise? Because it said to Moshe Rabbeinu, in regard to inheritance, if a daughter is not considered a daughter, a child, so our, father, our mother should fall to Yibam. But yet, we are considered a child. If that's the case, we, have a sh we should have a right in the inheritance. Right? That was their point. No, no. Chalitza. No. Of course, a woman who's, uh, who her husband had no children, she's married, she needs chalitza if there's a surviving brother. Okay? Mishama b'shas yesh li bonim nemon. Yesh li achim eno nemon. When she was married her, we don't know whether he had children or not. But he says, Yeshli Bonim, so he says, I have children. Let's say he would have never said Yeshli Bonim. He wouldn't have children. And let's say they were brothers. We knew he had brothers, and we didn't have yet. And before he does, he says, Yeshli Bonim. What does the mission say? He's believed. If he doesn't have brothers, he doesn't have to say, I have children, I don't have children. There's nobody to fall Yibam to. So we're speaking about the Ra brothers, and before he dies, he says, Yeshli, Yeshli Bonim. He says, I have children. We believe him. So that means he's believed to permit her to remarry without Chalitza when he dies. Correct? Okay? What about, he says, Yeshli Achim? That means, she, that means she would not be permitted to get married. That means she, she'd only could get married if she has the chalitza. Eno nemon. Well, we don't know anything. He never mentioned where he has children. Achim. So if, if he has brothers, and so the presumption is, if he dies without children, he's not, she's not gonna, she is going to fall to Yibum. And then before he dies, he says, I have children. We allow, it says in the Mishnah, he's believed. So that means we allow her to get married without anything. Although they're brothers, but yet, if he, yesh liachim, we don't know if he has children, and he never mentioned where he has children. He says, I have brothers, he's not believed. And therefore, we're allowed to get married. So Alma, the says, neman lahatir, ve neman lesser. He's believed to, to free her, to permit her to get married without chalitza, and neman lesser. But he's not believed to prohibit her from getting married. Right? 
We say she's, she's free to get married. He's not believed, even though he says, Yesh liachim. Now, let's understand. When a woman is married to a man, she's an Eshetzach, right? If he divorces her, what happens? Regardless, he has brothers, she's not permitted. So even though, if, theoretically, if he should die without children, she would fall to Yibum, right? But at this moment, right, when he's still married to her, she, firstly, she, besides being Eshetzach, what's her status? She's an Eshetzach. Eshetzach Shlobemokah Mitzvah is what is not permitted to a brother unless it's a situation where there are no, there are no children, correct? So now, before he dies, so what is her, what is, what is her status? Her status is Eshesach. And at that time, his statement is, 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 is in conformance with her status as Eshesach, which he's not permitted to her, brother, to her brothers-in-law, correct? Yeshli Bonim. Yeshli Bonim means, therefore, her status now will continue. Correct? That's, that's, that's actually what, what he's saying. The status that she's right now, besides being an Ashish, again, so the statement he's saying is not ca contradicting, contradicting anything that she is. Exactly. The other way, we don't know that he has children, so what is her status? The Chazok is that if he should die, she should be permitted to marry. Right? All of a sudden, he introduces Yesh Liachim. You want to see, you want to you restrict, restrict her. As she stands at this moment, she's permitted to remarry. You want to what? To prevent that. So that's going against the Chazoka. Eshliachim, that's the reason. The Gemara will say this. Amen, Nemen, Lahatir, Ve Nemen, Lesser. If there are no children. And, then, and, we don't know, and we don't know anything about brothers. Anything that when when the husband yeah when the husband will die, she will be permitted to marry. We'll presume there are no children, there are no brothers. We don't know anything about children. We don't know anything about brothers. All of a sudden, he, before he dies, he introduces he has brothers. So what was her status until now? That when he dies, she'll be permitted to remarry. He's introducing information now which will interfere with with our presumption until this moment. So the presumption, there are no children. That's the presumption, there are no children. There's a concept. What you don't know, we assume it's not. There's always direct, there may be. There's a presumption, there's a presumption, there isn't. Unless you know, there isn't. No, this, he says this before he dies. Yeah, no, then he dies. So Subsequently, he dies. We Do we allow her to remarry? So if, if he didn't say it, le, the first case, we says, Yeshli Bonim. Evidently, what are we speaking when he said that? He had brothers at the time. If he had no brothers, what does he have to say, Yeshli Bonim? Right? He has no brothers. He has no children. So, of course, she can remarry. So he's only introducing this information because he doesn't want his wife to fall to evil because he has brothers. So when he says, Yeshli Bonim, although theoretically, if he would have died without interjecting this information, she would have fallen to, she would have fallen to Yibum. But because he's offering this information, that doesn't allow her to fall to Yibum. And she marries, permits her to remarry, without anything, without Chalitza, without the release. But if he has no, we don't know anything about brothers. That means she would have been permitted, we don't know anything about children either. And that means when he would have died, she would have, normally, she would have been permitted to remarry. Now, by offering this information before he dies, he says, Our brothers, this will prevent her from remarrying. There's a principle that Gemara says, What you don't know, you don't have to worry about. There's a presumption. There's no reason to say there are children. <laughs> If, if, if there are no children, why should we suspect there are children? Unless you have a rove or you have a reason to say there are, the presumption is the man doesn't have children. You don't say, well, most people have children. That's all, right? Most people have children. Mo
Yeah, correct? Exactly. So the presumption is there are no brothers, there are no children. Right? That is the presumption. If we know nothing, we say there are no children, there are no brothers. If they're children, it's, it's really irrelevant. They could have sisters. No, no. Either or. They either have children or they have sisters. Why? No. How many people have neither children nor sisters? There's so many. There's so many variables. There's so many variables. A person's children could have died. If they had, they could have died. That's not mnemonos. That's not mnemonos. That's not mnemonos. No, 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 no. That's because we're afraid that if you don't abide by his wishes, his his, his life could be compromised. Because it could be compromised, he will die. This has nothing to do with this. No, no. First, that's shchiv mira. So shchiv mira. No, he is not. This not where he's on his death. Even he's on deathbed. We can't. We can't permit something. There, it's a monetary situation. It's hefker bezn hefker. He was talking about shish. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nation's ach. Do we allow her to marry? If she marries, she's marrying in sin. If she's a Yavom Lashuk, then nobody's permitted to marry her. Monetary is, is easy. We believe him purely rabbinically. Rabbinically. So rabbinical. Definitely, definitely. Right, because the whole idea is to perpetuate the, the, the name of the deceased. It could be a 60th wife. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Okay. So Alma Neman Lahatir. So we see he's, he's believed to, to release her, to permit her to remarry. But if she was, was going to be permitted to remarry, now he introduces information that he has brothers, he's not believed lesser. Name Masis look Reb Noson. Similarly, the mission is not going like Reb Noson. Who's Reb Noson? The Tanya we learned in the Brayso. Meshas Kedushin. See, our mission is being when he originally married, we know nothing. We don't know he has children. We don't know he has brothers. Neither. Here it's Meshas Kedushin when he originally married the woman. Rashi makes it a point. It's not he's marrying on a condition. Meshas Kedushin Amalei Yeshli Bonim. Right, the woman was, a, was concerned that if he should die childless. She's going to fall to Yibam. So he tells her, you don't have anything to worry about. I have children. But not the marriage is contingent that he has children. He's for that purpose? For that purpose. He's no, 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 no. Because she's concerned about Yibam. No, Yibam. What does the Kasuba have to do over here? What difference does it make? Either way, he, she has to, if he dies, she has to claim it of, of the Kasuba from the estate. She, a woman doesn't inherit her husband. So she has to go to his brothers, where he has to go to his cousins, whoever he has to go to. That's not whoever can make it difficult. Every anybody can make it difficult. The only woman, even it's our children, they can make it difficult for. Okay, okay, let's not go off, get off off track here. No, no, let's say the witnesses, the witnesses, the witnesses. Yes, yes. No, 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 it means nothing, it means nothing, it means nothing. Right? They're witnesses. Okay? Bishas Kedushin Oma Yeshli Bonim. Yeshli Bonim. When he married originally, because she was concerned about falling to Yibam, he says that you have nothing to worry about. I have sons. I have children. Bishas Misa, Omer Enlo Bonim. Before he dies, he says, we was speaking there of, of, of course, he had brothers. So he had, he, she was concerned. So he says, you don't have to worry. Yeshli Bonim. Before he dies, he says, Ain lo bani. He says, I have no children. Okay? So now she's a little bit in the pickle. Bishas Kushan Oma Ain lo Achim. He has no brothers. So therefore, she doesn't have to worry. Even though he doesn't have any children, he has no brothers. Bishas Mis Oma Yesh lo Achim. He has brothers. Neman Lahatve Neman Lesser Divir Rebbe. 
Rebbe says, if it's a question of permitting her to marry, that we believe him. But to hold her back from marrying, he's introducing all of a sudden, he has brothers now, he's not, he's not believed. Reb Noso me'afnem and lesser. Reb Noso no, he is believed. Even lesser. Al Mishnah mm-hmm. says, if he says, yesh yachim, ain't no member, right? So seemingly, the Mishnah is not going like who? Like Reb Noso. I know, but the Mishnah doesn't discuss this case. No, this only discusses the case of the time of death. Correct. Correct. We'll see. We'll see the way Rava learns. We'll see the way Abayi learns. How he reconciles the Mishnah with the, with the Brysa. So the Gemara says, seemingly, the Mishnah is not going like, like Reb Noson, because according to Reb Noson, if he says, yesh liachim, he's what? Avnem and lesser. We, ne- we know no- nothing about brothers. All of a sudden, before he dies, he says, I have brothers. We don't even know where the brothers are. It's not people come and they prove they're the brothers. We don't even know. But just saying that, that's enough to hold her up. The Bezdom will not allow her to remarry. Omer Rovo. Shiny Hosom. Cave on the Bishas Misa Kohoda Bey. Emo Kushta. Emo Kushta Komer. So Rashi explains that since he's retracted, originally he says Ein Liachim. Saying Liachim means she's permitted to marry. There's no, there's no Iser. There's no concern. She's going to be in violation of anything. Now, all of a sudden, he introduces, he says, Yesh Liachim. That since he's on his deathbed and the man has a conscience, so now he's retracting because if his wife remarries now, she's going to be in violation. So because he's on his deathbed, we say, we have to give some credence to what he's saying, therefore we will not allow her to remarry. Let's see, Rashi. We don't even know where the brothers are. It's just based on his word. I have brothers. So he's saying, this is the rationale. Rebbe says, we don't believe the man. We don't believe him. I mean, she has a cheskes het right? She's permitted. So he says, because we could say, this like an anansadi. A person, this situation, would not lie in his deathbed unless it's true. One second. One second. One second. Since he's retracting from what he originally said that he had no brothers at the time of his death, because he doesn't want to have this sin on, on, his, on his record, that his wife remarried where she was a Imam al-Shuk. In the Mishnah where he didn't say anything about, at the time when he married her, I have no brothers. Here, he's purely, he's doing it because he wants to hold her up. He wants to pain her, cause her pain. Before he dies, therefore he's not believed. One second. So Abaye says it's, it's contrary to logic. Omale Abaye, where is it? Omale Abaye, v'lav kol d'cheinu. It's a kol shkein. Hashto, uma hosem d'ko mora l'dibure. Initially, he says, I have no brothers. And also now he says he has brothers. So there he's what? He's saying something differently than he originally said. That means clearly what he said originally, he lied. So that means, so where he lies, we say, you believe him. He didn't say anything. When he got married, he didn't speak about brothers. She didn't ask him, he didn't say anything. It wasn't discussed. So there was a presumption if he dies, she'll be able to be married. This is about, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I have brothers. Lokosh came, so why shouldn't I believe him? For the same reason. Here with the man originally, he lied. He lied. And he's admitting he lied. Well, he said because he has a conscience, it'll be on his conscience. So here where he didn't lie. And the man is telling him. So definitely you should believe him. Because there was no indication that he's not, where he shows he's not trustworthy. We give, we give value to what, to what he's saying. So we're in no way did we see that he compromised his trustworthiness. We shouldn't give value to what he says. Elam Rabaye. So Rabaye answers the mission this way. When the man initially, he marries her, he has no children, he has no sons. Okay? So she, the presumption was that if he dies, what would happen? She's free to marry Right? Because they're no, they're no sons, even though they're no sons, but they're no brothers. So 
the low Muslim Mochi. We knew nothing about brothers, the low Muslim Bibani, and we knew nothing about children. The Amrina Kaven, the Muslim Bibani, the Lobachi. Right? Kaven, the Muslim Bibani, the Lobachi, Omi Yesh Libanim Nemon. Right? Let's say we don't know anything about children with our, br our brothers. Now we introduce this as Yesh Libanim. So when he says Yesh Libanim, what is that doing? What is that doing? It's not changing the presumption of what a status is. If we know nothing, she'd want to remarry, we'd be permitted to marry. Yesh li bonim. Right? Kei v'lo muslim b'boni v'lo b'achi om yesh li bonim nemon. Yesh li achim eno nemon. But if he says yesh li achim, so what he's doing, until now, we do nothing about brothers. Until now, she would have been permitted to remarry. Now he's introducing that he has brothers, so he's what? He's saying something contrary to the presumed status of Chazoka. Lavko kamine dosla kuli alma. Therefore, he's not believed to prohibit her on the world because what was the Chazoka? The Chazoka was that she's permitted to remarry. Let's see, Rashi. One second. We know nothing about not brothers, not children. So what's her presumed status? She's not bound to Yibum. So what are we, what is that doing? We're Now, what's, what's the difference? Let's say brothers don't show up afterwards. So it's understood. Correct? We don't know anything about children. We don't know anything about brothers. He says, by the way, I have children. You know, you believe. What, what relevance does it have? It has no relevance. The whole thing, it's, it's, it's introducing information which has no value. Right? So it says, but because it's supporting the Chazoka, therefore we believe him. So he says, because what happens? The Osi Achla Achimitan. That's the difference. Now a brother shows up. Right? A brother show, comes afterwards and he says, I'm a brother. So now we have a little bit of a problem. When he, before he died, he says, I have no brothers, but I have children. His wife didn't remarry yet, or let's say she did remarry. And all of a sudden, a brother shows up, and he even brings proof that he's a brother. So if we believe in that, he has a, that he had children before he died, so the, being a brother is irrelevant. It's like a man dying with children. She doesn't fall to Yibum. Okay? He says, I'm the brother of the, of the, of the deceased. It doesn't mean anything. Why? What's the reason? Because we believed, the husband before he died, we believed him initially. Because there the children weren't contrary to the Chazoka. He had the Chazoka to support that. That's the reason why we had reason to believe him. So now when the brother shows up afterwards and says, I'm the brother, right? It's irrelevant. You may be the brother, but since the brother, the deceased, was believed to say he had children, and when he said he, he had children, we had the Chazoka supporting what he said. It wasn't contrary to what he said. Therefore, she died a widow where her husband had children. Okay? Therefore, she's permitted to remarry or to, or to remain married if she did remarry. After he died and after he made the statement that he has children. The kosher children. Yeah, the kosher. They're not mamzerim. Yeah, it's a love. And we pass on the She's not married to the second person. Even though it's a chayvi lavim, it's a machlok to Rav and Shmuel. A yevomel shuk, yevomel shuk, is the tefisas kedushin. Is it like a love at normal? Because you married, you married. So then, if that's the case, you don't just give chalitza and he remains married to the first one. We say no, the marriage was never marriage. So we rule that the marriage was not a, not a marriage. This is the exception. Although it's only Chavi Lavim, and the child will not be a mamzer. Yes, 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 yes. She's not an adulteress. She's not an adulteress. Let's see, no bro we don't know anything about brothers. No brothers ever show up. So the presumption is he has no children. He has no brothers. Okay. 
Right, right. If they're brothers, that's the only thing that interferes with a remarrying. If they're brothers, no yeah. brothers, not there's yeah, nothing. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. Rabbi is not saying we're giving more, more, more value to a statement. Before he dies, he says he has children. We believe him. No, no, forget the brother. The brother's the only one where he's going to Because that's contrary. So that's contrary to Chazoka. Right. So now, why do I No, if he says before he gets married, before he gets married, he says, I have brothers. There's, we have no reason not to. There it's not going against Chazoka. No, he's established a brother. He's a he says, I have brothers. Yes, and he says yes, li bonim. That means he's saying he lied. Yeah, he's no, ac according to what's his name, he wouldn't be believed because that's mora cheskose. It doesn't help. Because we have Chazoka, we have a Chazoka at the time. He's like an eight effort. Yep, but it's an eight. the reason why is this is like you know we discussed. I mean, you have to ask a question. I mean, seemingly it's like a Dovish of the Erevo over here, right? It's no worse than an eight echot says a piece of meat is not kosher, and Besdin accepts that testimony, and it's established as that. Now somebody eats it and he's forewarned when he eats the meat, he gets Malchus. But I, but but the status is based on testimony of a single witness. Doesn't make a difference because when he testified, it was accepted as what as fact. So if whatever happens, eventually we that that's the reality. In the Velo. same thing. When he said, "I have children," what was it? He had a chazoka, that what that she she was not meant to fall for evil. So I accepted his what his word as fact. So now she's established as a woman's permitted to marry, to remarry. Now he comes. Okay, it's contrary to that. Okay. Braiso. So now we can talk about the, the Machlokis, Reb Noson and and Rebbe. Braiso de Mursaklon Baachi. Vino Mursaklon Biboni. What does that mean? The Mursaklon Baachi, Vino Mursaklon Biboni. So Rashi says, the Mursaklon Haigavra Baachi, Vino Shesh Eden Bidover. We heard he has brothers. Right? Let's get back to the case. What's the b'risa? B'sha's Kedushin, he says, Imam yeshli bonim. At the time of the Kedushan, he says, I have children. Meaning, therefore, he doesn't have to worry about a falling to evil. But what, why did he say that? Because word was out there that he had brothers. So because the word was out there he had brothers, she was concerned. He says, you don't have anything to worry about. I have sons. I have children. Bishas Kedushan, he says, Ein lo achim. And Bishas Misi says, I have achim. Okay, that's the machlokis between Rebbe and Reb Nosen. Rebbe says he's permitted to permit her, but he's not permitted to ask her. Reb Nosen says no, afnem and lesser. So let's get back over here. The muhzalom ba'achi, but the muhzalom be'boni. Before he marries her, words out there he has brothers, but we don't think about children. He says I have children. Damridom mali l'shakir. What does it mean, mali l'shakir? My ko'amar. Because what, when he says, I have children, why is he making that statement? Because he wants to free her from the world. She's concerned. They're brothers out there somewhere. We don't know. That's what people say. It hasn't been established with witnesses that they're brothers. So therefore, if he would want to absolve her from Yibam, what could he do? Give her a get. So it's biyodo to give her a get. After he he could give her a get. Motsi oma patrano begito. 
he could give a get on the condition that a moment before he dies, the get should take effect. Take effect. Sure, yeah, he can give a get. Right? Um, he gives her a get when he marries her. The, right, the moment before I die, the get should take effect the moment before I die. It's a valid get. Doesn't matter. Whenever that time will be, the moment before I die, the get should be a get. Right? He, so it's Viodo. He has the ability to do that. This is not a conditional marriage. Then, then, then the marriage is Wait a second. Th then it's not so simple. That's the same. Firstly, he didn't say it. Wait a second. He never said. He had a question to believe him. He didn't give her a get. Didn't give her a get. But we say since he could have given her a get to, a to actually to extricate herself from this problem, therefore we believe him when he says, yes, I have children, that's why he's believed. That's called Mali the Shakir. Since it's within his ability to bring about the same result as having children, Therefore, he's believed that he has children, although word was out there that they were brothers somewhere. Okay? Mm -hmm. Wait one second. Motsi on Pacharam lo begito. Rebbe sova mali l'shaki ki edim domu. Vosu edim akri chazoka. So therefore, by making that statement, by say, I have children, it's the equivalent of witness saying what? That the what? That the children? And as a result of that, it's the equivalent of what? That the Chazoka, before she got married, was that if she would be married, whoever he would marry, she'd fall to evil. But since when he got married, he said, I don't have children, that established fact that he does have children. Correct? <coughs> that, no, he said he does have children. Before he got married, word was out, he had brothers wherever they were wasn't established through witnesses. Before he marries, he says, I have children. What do I believe? Because he says, because my little shock here, he could have he freed her. She wouldn't have fooled to evil. So that's the equivalent of witnesses saying, they're children. Except they're children. So the, the presumption that we believe to be before he married her, that they're brothers, that actually, that negates that presumption. So if that's the case, now that he, now that he says before he dies, right, I have... I have no choice. He's not believed. That's Rebbe. He's not believed. He's not believed. Because that's going against what? Her status. Because the Avim already uprooted, they negated that original Chazoka, that she was going to fall to Yibam. Correct. Rebnosen Sovar, Rebnosen Sovar, Mali Lushaki Chazoka Domi. Now, you have to understand. So, I mean, Rashi has to explain Reb Nosen. Reb Nosen says it doesn't establish it as if the witnesses who actually negated the first Chazoka. It only what? It weakened the Chazoka. Let's see Rashi. Or Reb Nosen. She had originally a Chazoka that she w was meant to fall to evil. Correct? When he said, Yeshli Boni. He said, I have children. Wait, wait, wait. So did it, was it established like witnesses said that they're, they're children? So if the witnesses, if witnesses would have come say she has children, there's no question. What we originally believed up to marriage means nothing. It's totally removed. My Omar. One second over here. Reb Nosen Sov, no asher chazok, the madlo shak of okra chazok kama iso. We don't say it totally annulled that original Chazoka to say that she has no relevance to Yibum. We don't say that. Now the question is, So now the question is, if it doesn't fully nullify that Chazoka, let's say he doesn't say, I have no children before he dies. He doesn't say that. What do we say? She doesn't fall to evil. So we say, let it be a suffix. According to Rebbe, that we say that original Chazoka, that presumption is totally negated and annulled. Okay. So therefore, before he dies, even if he says he has no children, we totally ignore it. But according to Reb Nosson, that we say that original Chazoka is not fully negated, even if he doesn't say a word before he dies. He doesn't say, 
I have no children. He didn't say that. Let's be concerned that since before he married her, there was a chazoka that she was meant to fall to him because word was out that he had a brother somewhere. So how do we allow him, how do we allow her to remarry? But if, we, if that statement doesn't negate that original chazoka, chazoka is not nullified, is not, is not nullified, so why, if he dies without saying a word, why do we allow it to remarry? That's Rashi's question, right? If you give it value, so then it's established. And if you give it no value, even if it doesn't say, I have no children, we shouldn't allow him to remarry because I don't give any value to his original statement that he has children. We'll continue tomorrow.